welcome back to my channel the african keto diet today we'll be making um, a video on how to make full cream greek yogurt you will wonder why i said full cream and this uh, greek yogurt is made from powdered milk uh, i have other videos in my in my channel that i made yogurt from a combination of full cream milk the liquid form and a skimmed milk powder well because um in in um africa especially in nigeria my country we don't have our milk in the liquid form as we have it here in the u.s and then people have been asking me how can i do this without um with powdered milk and another thing is that most times yogurt is made from it's made from skimmed milk even when I used to make it in Nigeria I use a combination of a full cream milk and skimmed milk and powder to make it but because skimmed milk especially is not keto the fat has been taken out and everything you need the fat in the full cream milk so I made this out of just full cream milk so you can actually make your Greek yogurt out of full cream milk even the color compared to the Greek yogurt that you get in the store which is like very white you can see the um, buttery color of this one to show that it has more of fat than your skin milk would have so join me as I show you how to make your full fats Greek yogurt out of powdered milk and if you have not subscribed to my channel like and share this video join us on our facebook support group where we'll learn new recipes every day today i'll be making um keto greek yogurts i call it keto because um a lot of my African people we don't have uh, the liquid milk in Africa like we have here in America so a lot of them are like what do I do if I don't have liquid milk so today I'm going to show you how to make um, yogurts from full fat milk that is why I say it's keto because normally Greek yogurt is made mostly from skimmed milk it is easier to make it from skimmed milk even if I use full fat milk, I always like combining it with skimmed milk. It gives me a better result. But today we're going to use just the full fat milk powder. And uh, for my yogurt starter, if you don't have a starter, you can always get um, a yogurt that has cultured, pasteurized, just it just has the the milk and the culture that is just what you need you don't need the things that has ingredients like pectin and additive just the milk and the culture in it but if you don't have um, this you can use you can get from local nunu sellers you can if you don't have this you can get from the local nunu sellers just tell them to give you one without sugar already they must have added um they must have added uh, maybe cornstarch or something you can always place an order and tell them to just give you plain or even with a little cornstarch in it you can still use it but let them give you one that doesn't have sugar just plain so for us to start we're going to need our milk uh you got starter culture i'm using a towel and some paper bags i don't know how many i have here but it's like up to mm, seven eight i have hot water like the other normal one you would you would boil the milk but this one i'm just going to use um just going to use hot water but you must make sure that your container is clean i'll just put hot water in it and rinse it out a bit The quantity of the water to the milk does not really matter 
because at the end of the day we're still gonna take it out so this water has boiled 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 water I'm just gonna add up oh, my bowl is really big I'm just gonna add about um, let's say two cups about two cups of milk to the water I'm going to allow it to cool down it has to cool down if it's too hot and you add um, you add the you got it's uh, the starter is gonna kill it off because all the um, the culture inside are alive they are the friendly bacteria that we need so if the if the liquid is too hot they're going to die off if it's too cold they are not gonna grow so you need a temperature that is just right okay we have been cooling our milk mm, it smells good so I test the temperature at the back of my hand or you dip a clean finger make sure it has been washed inside the milk and if you can hold it whoa no that is not if you can hold it up to 10 seconds then the milk is hot enough or cool it has cooled down enough but i cannot so it has not cooled down enough so it has cooled down enough One, two, three. Okay. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of this to the mix. You don't want to add so much because you need the bacteria to have room to grow. Put it in my bags. I'm gonna wrap it in my towel and keep it somewhere it will not be disturbed for the next eight to ten hours I'll just check my time this morning and then I will not disturb this for the next eight to ten hours of my time Okay, so I will see you in the next eight um, to ten hours. I will just leave this here where it will not be disturbed. So I will see you in the next eight to ten hours. 
so it is about nine hours now we're going to see how far our yogurt did that's my big 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 bucket Ooh, that looks so good let's see if we can see it very well this is how the yogurt looks you can see it moving from the side from the side cuts clean It has been like um, um, nine hours. If you want it to be more more tangy, you can still leave it for a few more hours, maybe two, three more hours. Oh, that is sour. Okay. my um, scarf inside my sieve I'm gonna sieve out the way and then put it in the fridge and allow it the way to drain out. They, um, I've had this in the fridge for uh, all night. So this is what I got eventually. And this is what's drained out of it. This is the way. That came out of it. Ooh, it smells so good. So this is what what our yogurt, Greek yogurt, full cream. This is what you call full cream. Greek yogurt. 